It's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a bootable Windows 10 USB on a Mac. Let's get started. So, the first thing you want to do is download the Windows 10. So, just open up Safari and go download ISO Windows 10. Pull up the first result from Microsoft, and then we'll scroll down, choose our edition, click confirm. We'll select our product language, click confirm. And we'll choose what version we have. And I have 64-bit, so I'm going to press 64-bit. If you have 32-bit, you can download the 32-bit. Yeah, I'll get back to you when that's done. So now we have our ISO downloaded. We're just going to move it to a side, and we're going to make a new Finder window. And we want to make this easy to access, but first we'll insert our USB. And as you can see, it's mounted over here. It says USB. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head into Disk Utility, and we're going to go to USB and erase this with like something like Windows 10 and make sure you press MS-DOS FAT and we'll erase it. So now it's done we're gonna close disk utility and we're gonna open up our USB on this window and we're gonna double click on the ISO to mount it and it should say something like CCC OMA and then a bunch of random stuff so now we're gonna copy everything here except for the folder called sources so we can drag everything in there and I'll get back to you once that's done alright so now that all of that is copied we're gonna go into sources and first we're gonna make a folder over here sorry called sources and then we're gonna copy all of this except for a file called install.win so we're going to go find that, and we're going to go over here. We're going to go deselect it, and then we can copy everything else into that new sources folder we just created. And I'll get back to you once that's done. All right, so all of the files are copied to sources. Um, for some reason, mine are grayed out, but um, we're going to move on. So what are we going to do about that WIM file that's a bit too big for our USB? So before we go into that, I'm going to tell you about this video sponsor, GamsGo. GamsGo is a service where you can buy accounts for streaming services, but share them with other people so that your cost will be much lower than trying to get a full subscription. This is better for people who don't need all five accounts and are like on a budget or something. So um, if you use um, the discount code and the link in the video description, you will get 5% off Netflix and 2% off Disney Plus or any other streaming service. All right, let's figure out what to do about that WIM file. So let's open up a browser and head to WIMLib. This is the software we're going to be using. But instead of downloading the source code and trying to extract it and stuff like that, we're going to go to brew dot sh and over here it says install homebrew if you don't if you have it installed then you don't need to run this script but if you don't then we'll just paste it in the terminal and after that's done we're gonna fire up a terminal and go brew install wimlib and we're gonna let that install all right so it's all installed so now we need to run a command to split a WIM file across two files. It'll fit in our USB. So let's go back to Finder. And we're going to type this command in the terminal. It's wimlib-imageX space split space. And now we need to find the path 
to our WIM file. So open up the USB, look for sources, and look for install.wim. Drag that in, and then we're going to go space, and we, we want to go to the USB over here, and to the sources folder, drag this in, and then go slash install.swm space 4000. And that's going to split the WIM file, so it's now small enough to fit in the USB. So I'm going to get back to you once that's done. All right, so it's finished, and now we, are, now we have two files. One's called install.swm, and another's called install2.swm. So now the USB is actually bootable, so you can eject it and stick it into any other computer that you want to install it in. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, if this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.